The New York Times reports that this year at least 15% of adults will participate in Dry January, yourself included yes. right here. And they are giving up alcohol for the month and sometimes even longer for many different benefits. I'm here to tell us more about it and share two delicious mocktail recipes is the founder of Absence of Proof, mixologist Elizabeth Gascoigne. Thank you so much for being nice. with us. Good to see you. We are so here. <laughs> and what I think is so interesting about you is this is more than just a trend that you're doing. This is actually a thing in your life and it's the mission of your company. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I stopped drinking about two years ago during dry January and noticed immense benefits for my physical and mental health. So I decided to keep it going. But when I removed alcohol, I realized that there was a real lack of social options that don't revolve around alcohol. So I started a company that throws non-alcoholic parties and events across the country. Dr. Jan is huh? looking at me like, see? <laughs> see? That's pretty nice. That's pretty happen. cool. Yeah, it can happen. happen. So what are you making for us today? So today What's we're going to make drink? two super simple non-alcoholic cocktails. We're going to start with a mojito. So first mm. we're going to take mint leaves, mm. anywhere Love from mint. probably five to ten mint. Just throw it in there, add some lime juice, about one ounce, and then we're gonna muddle. When you're muddling, you wanna be kind of gentle, just enough to let that mint juice out, but not too much to crush the mint and release any sort of bitter taste. So we put that in there, then we're gonna fill our glass up with ice. Okay. It's delicious, I can tell you already. Did. <laughs> it's so fancy. Look at all the fancy tools. Anything tools that here. involves Absolutely. muddling <laughs> usually you're comes down out well. So once we have our ice, we're gonna take a little bit of a pre-made mocktail. This is Mingle Mocktails. I like it because it's great on its own, mm -hmm. but you can also add it in a mojito just to add a little bit more depth of flavor. And you so can just gonna... get this at a grocery store? Or... Oh, yeah. okay. yep, yep, absolutely. Okay. It's great on its own, or you can mix it. And then we're just gonna top it with some sparkling water. A little mineral, you know. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> gotta have some fizz in there. And then we're gonna top it with a garnish, some mint, maybe a lime if we're feeling fancy, and there we go. That Incredible. looks great. Okay, let's try it. Here, I'll try Here it for you. Thank you, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Okay, yours. Cheers. 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 All right. Cheers. And then, Cheers. Wait, hold on, I have to try this. Oh, it matches Eva's sweater. It does. Okay, mm. what are we thinking? Mm. It's delicious. Thumbs up. Okay. It's actually very like, refreshing too. It's it, it's very refreshing. Yeah, very. Not too sweet. A, and a good a good flavor palette. Okay, so mm. espresso martinis, so, one of the hottest cocktails of the year. Yes. I love them. For good reason. I had it's them at my dessert. wedding last year, but you're gonna take us through the mocktail version. Absolutely. So we're gonna start with some cold brew coffee. You can use any brand you like. Just okay. put it right in the shaker. Thank you, thank you. Then to make it a little bit sweet as a dessert, we put a little bit of maple syrup Ooh. in, about two ounces of that. Mm. And then if you want to use egg whites, that's totally fine, but we can also use aqua fava, which is essentially just the water that chickpeas are cooked in, okay. and it'll create oh. the same foam effect but have a vegan cocktail. That's why the chickpeas are here. Exactly. And then a little bit of coconut oil just for some of that flavor. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to dry shake it. This is what's going to create the foam of the cocktail. So just for about 15 seconds. Oh, it's called dry mm. shaking. Yeah. <laughs> dry yeah. Shaking. That's... Then and you we'll... put the coconut oil in there? Yeah, just for a little bit of that extra little. flavor. Okay. And then we add some ice mm. to cool it down. Oops. A little so bit good. of a mess there. Oh, God. This it's actually so good. Really, really good. We're already drinking them. I yes. passed them out. Cheers. 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 What I like about this is it also gives people ideas for what they can do if they go out with their right. friends mm -hmm. and they don't exactly. necessarily have one right at hand. And you just want to look, you know? You want to be out looking like you're drinking, but you're not. Have something in your hand, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit of garnish, maybe some nutmeg if we're feeling fancy. Mm. A little nutmeg. Bougie. Okay. And you know what? It's funny because we've been talking about this a lot since I'm doing my dry gen January. It doesn't, I, I don't like to drink my calories. I was yes. telling you that. But if you are going to drink your calories, mm -hmm. either with alcohol or coffee or a mocktail, you should enjoy it. Absolutely. And these taste really good. Should feel like a celebration. Yeah. The doctor has spoken. And so that's a mixologist <laughs> right here. The yes. expert. Elizabeth, again, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank and you. And for today's recipes, go to goodmorningamerica.com slash food or scan the QR code on your screen. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.